Next story, Israel-US exploit false flag attacks ramp up propaganda campaign, reports Kurt Nimmo, Infowars.com. In the wake of the amateurish terror attacks in India, Georgia and Thailand earlier in the week, Israel has ramped up its propaganda campaign to demonize Iran and Hezbollah by warning its citizens about the dangers of travel. Quote, Iran and Hezbollah are continuing to try to carry out other attacks on targets abroad, said a nameless counterterrorism official without offering details or credible evidence. That means asking Israelis abroad to be vigilant. And this ties in with an article that I wrote yesterday entitled, Iran teams up with Al-Qaeda claims dubious telegraph report. And they're now citing baseless intelligence sources to claim that Al-Qaeda... The Sunni terrorist group has teamed up with Iran, the biggest Shia country on the planet, to attack the West. And specifically, they mentioned the target, which is apparently the London Olympics, which begins in July. Now, let's just brush aside the fact that Al-Qaeda and Iran are mortal enemies. Let's discount the fact that Al-Qaeda spokespeople like Zawahiri and the late al Zarqawi routinely denounce Iran in public. And who is it in actual fact that's been funding and training al-Qaeda affiliated groups to carry out terror attacks? Who is it that's been funding and training al-Qaeda rebels to take over Libya and Syria? I'll give you a clue. It isn't Iran. NBC News, remember, reported last week, this is the same story we've been reporting for years, they just confirmed it via US officials, that groups with direct ties to al-Qaeda, and specifically the group MEK, are carrying out bombings and assassinations in Iran. And this is being bankrolled and directed from Israel. This, of course, is the same group, MEK, that's been backed financially by the United States since at least 2007. So while Israel and the US are admittedly funding and training al-Qaeda-linked groups to attack Iran, the corporate media... The same media who sold you weapons of mass destruction, Niger yellow cake and phony 45 minute warnings before the invasion of Iraq. Now they're saying that Iran has teamed up with Al Qaeda, even when the US government's publicly airlifting the same Al Qaeda rebels who helped them overthrow Gaddafi, who have turned Libya into a hellhole, airlifting them into Syria to take down Assad. And yet all along reporting that it's Iran that's teamed up with Al-Qaeda, when in fact, in your face, it's the US and Israel, as ever. And bearing all that in mind, this also ties into this story, which broke just a few hours ago. Fox News feds arrest man allegedly heading to US Capitol for suicide mission after sting investigation. Authorities have arrested a man allegedly on his way to the U.S. Capitol for what he thought would be a suicide attack on one of the nation's most symbolic landmarks, Fox News has learned exclusively. The man in his 30s and of Moroccan descent was nabbed following a lengthy investigation by the FBI initiated after he expressed interest in conducting an attack. It's unclear how the FBI learned of his aspirations, though he came onto the radar screen of law enforcement in early December. So they say it's unclear how the FBI learned of his aspirations. Well, Fox News, I'll give you a hint. Do you think for a second that this is just like almost every other single terror bust that the FBI has been involved in since 9-11, um, that the FBI provided him with the means, the radicalization and the training um, to go ahead with this? And it's actually in the article itself that it's another fabricated terror plot run from beginning to end by the FBI. Quote, the man thought undercover FBI agents assisting him in his plot were associates of Al-Qaeda. And it, it goes on to admit that the FBI provided him with a disabled gun during their ongoing operation, Fox News has learned. And then it says also that the guy had fake explosives, which the FBI knew were duds. Well, how did they know? Because they gave them to him, just like every other similar case. Uh, and I'm sure, just like the bizarre incident in Bangkok, which had no connection to the Iranian government, it turned out, but the Israelis claimed it did anyway, that this, again, will be further used to grease the skids for an attack on Iran. Just like the um, completely manufactured Saudi ambassador assassination plot, remember, 
uh, Tony Schaefer came out and said that the FBI, his sources in the FBI, had no information on it whatsoever. It, it was a ridiculous, ludicrous concoction that a used car salesman was going to start assassinating Saudi ambassadors in America. And again, that was used to grease the skids to demonize Iran, as will this. I mean, you can add it to the growing list of contrived terror plots. Underwear bomber, again in focus yesterday, no passport, well-dressed man helps him get on the plane. State Department ordered by the CIA to let him on. Uh, Toronto 18 in Canada, bunch of mental incompetence. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police gave them the fertilizer explosive via their informant. Miami 7, supposedly going to attack the Sears Tower in Chicago. Semi-retarded gangbangers provocateur from start to finish by the FBI. Um, the Bronx plot to blow up synagogues and bring down airliners in New York. Ringleaders, two potheads, given fake explosives and an inactive missile by the FBI. Notice a trend emerging here. Fort Dix, 2007 plot to kill soldiers. FBI informants, again, the key figures behind the operation. They planted and nurtured the plot. And you can go down the list, whether it's England, Canada, U.S., same thing every time. Authorities provoke, provocateur, nurture the plot from beginning to end. And in the US, every single major terror bust has been a case of entrapment, which is exactly what this appears to be. The plot is, you know, completely fabricated by the FBI, foisted upon some poor, retarded individual who's given fake explosives and arrested. And, you know, it's the 21st century version of Marinus van der Lube and the Reichstag. And this is why the TSA gets to put its hands down your pants. This is why the FBI is spying on your Facebook and Twitter posts. And this is why the DHS is recruiting Americans to spy on each other. And it's one big fabricated hoax. The war on terror is contrived nonsense. And this um, Moroccan patsy that Fox News is excitedly reporting about is just the latest chapter in this work of fiction. Just before we sign off here, I encourage all of you who are watching this on YouTube to sign up at prisonedplanet.tv and get your subscription. Um, years and years of multimedia archives now available. Of course, you get the, the Alex Jones Show live video archives, special interviews, speeches, special events, and of course, the live stream of InfoWars Nightly News. Um, we've still got the Give the Gift of Truth special um, running at the moment. It's 39.95, which is, of course, 44% discount. And, of course, PrisonPlanet.tv is also available on Roku. So we encourage all of you who are watching on YouTube to support us. This is how we operate. This is how we fund the network. So sign up today at PrisonPlanet.tv. And that's going to do it for this edition of InfoWars Nightly News. I've been your host, Paul Joseph Watson, and we'll see you on the next edition. Take care. Hey, Newt, what did you do with the Bohemian Grove? Why don't you never answer that question, sir? Newt, never answer that question. Why do you keep dodging questions Wait, about the Bohemian Grove? Why do you keep dodging Wait, questions? Great speech! Great speech! Hey, Mr. Speaker, what'd you do at the Bohemian Grove? Good to see you, Mr. Speaker. I like photographers. I'm one. How come you keep dodging questions about the Bohemian Grove, sir? You should have to. God bless you. Oops, sorry. You seriously, why all the secrecy? It's nice to know that there's some people who have fantasy lives not that fantasy. have nothing it's to touch with. Nice to have you here. Bye-bye. You can't answer the question? You can't?
Can you answer the question? See you later. Uh, I know you consider yourself a Catholic, but what happens when you worship Moloch at the Bohemian Grove? <laughs> New York Post says uh, that male prostitutes are shipped in into the Bohemian Grove. Can you tell us what happens there? You actually believe all this junk? Bill Clinton said that Republicans run around naked in the woods there. Did you say the Bohemian Club? Yeah. That's where all those rich Republicans go out and stand naked against redwood trees, right? <laughs> I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. And you don't want to know what Richard Nixon said about the place. The Bohemian Grove that I attend, one time to the other come there. But it is the most faggy goddamn thing you will ever can ever imagine in San Francisco crowd because it, it's just terrible. I mean, I don't shake hands with anybody in San Francisco. That's the place you attended. It's a secret society. Can you tell us at least who invited you? You know, it's nice to know that there's some people who have fantasy lives not that fantasy. have nothing it's to touch with. Nice to have nice you here. Bye bye. You can't answer the question? Bye -bye. You can't? You're done. Can you answer the question? See you later. Greetings, fellow Info Warriors. Alex Jones here announcing the first of many trips that I'm going to take across this wonderful United States that we live in. And we get so busy here at InfoWars.com, the nightly news, the daily radio show, the documentary films, and all the other things we're doing that I tend to never go out and give speeches anymore. And I've got a lot of ideas bubbling around in my head about the history of the New World Order, what makes them tick, and how to defeat them. So I'm titling this key speech I'm going to give. It'll run around two hours long, Blueprint to Defeat the New World Order. And we're also going to have a surprise premiere of a short documentary film we've been working on at the event. First off, I'm going to be going to Dallas, Texas, Sunday, February 19th, 2012, to the historic Lakewood Theater. And the next Sunday, February 26th, I'm going to be in Orlando, Florida. You can find out more about the events and buy tickets at Infowars.com forward slash events. Now, unfortunately, every event I've ever had, we've had to turn people away. So get your tickets early at InfoWars.com forward slash events. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in this world. And the craziest of all is this explosive awakening. I can't wait to meet you and shake your hand. I'll see you in Dallas and I'll see you in Orlando. InfoWars.com forward slash events.